Right, guys, Jim and I back with another video, and today we, you know, I wanted to talk about uh, one of my heroes in wrestling, and uh, that's none other than Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning, and uh, <clears throat> a lot of younger fans, um, you know, um, might have not seen Kurt Henning, you know, in his prime run in the WWF uh, back in the day, but I'm telling you guys, Mr. Perfect was the freaking man in uh, wrestling and I never knew it until I got older just how epic this guy was um, <clears throat> just in wrestling in general I, I know a lot of people are gonna be like dude stay relevant stay relevant blah 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 um, you know I listen to the Scorpions I play Super Nintendo and quite frankly this guy was one of my heroes when I was um, pretty hardcore into wrestling um, yeah Mr. Perfect uh, he just would get in the ring and he would do that gum thing and before the match and he would be with Bobby Heenan and he would look good and uh, then he would go out and have these excellent matches with Bret the Hitman Hart at say SummerSlam 91, King of the Ring 93 and uh, he would work with Hulk Hogan and uh, he was one of the first guys to ever take the belt off of Hulk Hogan, him and the Genius on Saturday night's main event and they took a hammer backstage and smashed it all up. I could remember watching that Saturday night's uh, main event live, and uh, well, maybe it was taped, but at least where I saw it, it was the first time I saw it, which would be live uh, for me. And I, I was so mad at uh, Lenny Poffo and uh, Mr. Perfect for smashing the Hulk Hogan's WWF title, but I was so mad. I hated Mr. Perfect so much as a kid. But then, you know, you get a little older and you start realizing, like, Henning was doing his job. He was a good heel, because that's what a true heel does, is they legit get you to hate him. And I had an opportunity to see Mr. Perfect wrestle in 1999. <clears throat> it was a WCW pay-per-view, uh, WCW Super Brawl. And it was in Oakland, February 99, January 99, something like that. And uh, he tagged up with uh, Barry Windham. And I mean, and they won the tag titles that day, and they were just smooth, man. I mean, they were him and Barry Windham together in the ring were just seeing them live. Uh, they were fantastic, and uh, you just it's so many good uh, memories about Mr. Perfect, so many good matches, seeing him live, you know. And I saw him perform his whole uh, rap is crap thing, and as bad as WCW was, uh, Mr. Perfect was still uh, entertaining, even in WCW. I mean, the thing where he uh, slammed Flair's uh, head in the cage at WCW Super Brawl, or WCW Fall Brawl 97 was just, I mean, it was masterfully done. Um, the only time I was ever really, really mad at Mr. Perfect, uh, Kurt Henning, uh, I was mad at him when he got inducted in the WWF Hall of Fame, and he had his whole entire uh, beautiful family out there and he went out there with him i was like damn dude this sucks i mean mr perfect was the best he's got his i mean beautiful wife and he's got sons and daughters and everyone's up on the stage but kurt henning and i was like man dude he should be there with him this would be the highlight of mr perfect's life uh getting inducted right now and he wasn't there and i was so pissed off i i remember being so emotional when Mr. Perfect was getting inducted in the Hall of Fame, that I, I was almost legit in tears, like shaking my head like this, because I was so pissed off. And you, you could ask my buddy John, he was sitting there with me in the hotel room in Detroit when it happened, and uh, John's like, dude, what's the matter? I'm like, man, I'm so pissed at uh, Kurt for not being there with his beautiful uh, wife, Lynette, and um, just this whole, you know, Joe Henning was out there, you know, uh, Curtis Axel. And I was so pissed. But uh, yeah, he is one of my true heroes in wrestling. Um, this might not be the best video, but like right now, it's all I really know was the old stuff and my heroes. I'm not really keeping up with the current stuff, but I have a lot of passion for uh, uh, watching Mr. Perfect matches. I could watch his matches all day. One of my, my favorite all-time wrestlers. And with all that being said, uh, I'm Jim and I, and that would be cool if you guys can leave your comments about your best me memory of Mr. Perfect. Thanks for listening.